month and we're back. It's barely even been a week, <laughs> but we have no knitting content. Yeah. But we're closed today, but we're we've actually had some... all, we've been closed all week. Yeah. We got a couple of parcel notices and we went to pick them up and we're very excited. So we thought we'd share. We thought we'd unbox. So um, we've got we got the first three are ones that we got for the store and then we got some for ourselves as well. Yeah. Okay. And they're all uh, people who would have been vendors at the Peace Fiber Fest. Yes. Um, so we'll talk about them and then encourage you to go check out their websites because yes. they're awesome. Yes. All so. awesome people and dyers and makers. Yeah. So first one is Riverstone Yarns. <gasps> so soft. I so, wish you could feel these. So Susan and Clyde um, were there last year. They're from yes. Caslow, BC. And we didn't get any of the hand spun. They do some amazing hand spun. Yeah. And her mittens, but, she makes mittens that are just gorgeous. Mm -hmm. She actually um, just released the pattern that she was going to release at the Fiber Fest this year. Um, she just released on Ravelry. So if you're interested in color work mittens, uh, check out her new pattern. Yeah, so we got a couple bags of stuff. So what else did we get? I don't even remember. We, we uh, ordered, I don't know. It's so a good squishy. Week ago. Okay, their merino sock yarn in like tons of different colors. I love that one. And their merino cashmere sock yarn, which is just, oh, sorry, I'll stop fondling yarns. <laughs> Promise I washed my hands and my face. <laughs> yeah, don't touch your face. So these are just some of their, this is the Merino cashmere and you can see like it's really soft. It's got great handle. Like it's just. Okay. But the sock yarn does that too. Yeah. But it's just, okay. it's actually a, the sock it's yarn got is... a really nice hand. It's super soft. I actually probably would have guessed that the sock yarn had some cashmere in it. Yeah. It's really soft. It it's is. lovely. And, like, and it's 80, 20. Yeah. They have some amazing colors. That one we got one in each uh, skein, like one, one in each, each base. base. Did we? Oh yeah, we did. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. The cashmere is amazing. Yeah. Um. So this one is Io. They have a lot of space named ones yeah. right now, which I Jupiter. love. Jupiter. This is a Lonely Planet, and the ones I showed you before are Bumbleberry. That's just one of them, which is perfect name for it. Europa. I love that one. Ah, oh, they're just they're so pretty. We love their stuff. So. Um, you should go check out their website. They're riverstoneyarns.com. Yes. Um, and they're fabulous. We'll put it in the doobly-doo as well. Yeah. Um, all of these will have links in the show notes. Below. Yes. We're so excited. Yes. So, yeah. So since we can't do the Fiber Fest, we thought we'd share a little bit of the Fiber Fest with you. Yes. Um, so if you're here for knitting content, this video is probably not for you. It's all it's, yarn. Put it in your it's bag. It's all going to be, look at this stuff. Look at the pretty stuff. Okay, the next stuff is not yarn. And the squishy stuff. Oh, yeah. Strong box. Strong box. <laughs> the next one was a huge box that we weren't expecting quite this quickly. Yeah, Parcels I are think taking... he sent it on like Friday. Yeah. Well, he sent it here later. Yeah, yeah. Not most mail. of most of the mail here goes over here. Um, most of our mail is is slow down right now, or at least stuff we're sending. Yeah, but... yeah. Canada Post has said they're not even guaranteeing any uh, time frames right now. Okay. Service the delivery next standards box. are just not a thing. We've got some stuff all wrapped up in it. it, it he did an amazing job packaging yeah. So these. this is Weasel Works, and he is out of Edmonton, and he does all sorts of wood stuff. So we got some cool um, rustic buttons. There's like red oak, and I thought these were great. They're caragana, which around here is like a weed. Yeah. It is a weed tree. Well, re weed shrub. But, but it grows to tree size. Like it's yeah. got thick branches. It's and, hard work to keep it cut and, it down. And it, it they are make really great buttons. Yeah. I am really impressed. And that's Weasel so. Works. That's his business card. So some of his yeah. Weaselworks.ca. Goodies. Yeah, Weaselworks.ca. Yeah. So we got a bunch of button sets. And he makes little um, crochet. Hook uh, crochet hook holders that tie. So we got a couple of those. And he actually sent he those. He actually included those as a gift, just for Let's supporting see. him. Well, they wouldn't fold over because they're. Well, they okay. they fold like a little bit over. Or you could roll it up, but yeah. So he has, yeah. You could like fold it over that much. Yeah. And then um, tie it. But we got a bunch of wooden handled 
So he does the handles and we got them all um, labeled with what kind of wood they were. So and we he got uses all sorts tons of sizes. of different woods. Yeah. And I think we went from two millimeter to 11. Yes. Yep. <clears throat> um, so if like you're a crocheter, um, yeah. check out his shop. There are some awesomely funny videos. Watch every one you can. I don't remember. Oh, because um, he's got links to his YouTube videos with mm. the little weasel and stuff. Yeah. Um, this <coughs> one's like walnut. Oh, it's so not contagious. Nice. We both have allergies. It's really warm and I'm allergic. So I'm going to go get some. Okay. Well, um, I'll keep talking. So we got, yeah, we got a whole bunch of crochet hooks. So he does wooden handles over. We got um, aluminum um, hooks wooden handles and they're really nice because they say the size on the bottom I don't know if you can see that through the bag the millimeter ridges. so those are awesome and then uh, Nasta Pinnas um, it is for winding your own center pole ball wow I lost the words <laughs> They're um, awesome. Yeah. If I, you're a hand spinner, they're yeah. awesome. Um, you can, you can, uh, on YouTube, there's quite a few videos of people doing it. He's got one on his website as well, just yeah. showing how to do it. And you basically um, end up with like an egg shaped ball, perfect, yeah. a perfect little oval that wraps around yeah. here. And then you just slide it off. And it's a center pole ball. And it's a center pole ball. So we've got a couple of those. And then we got some of his handmade bowls. <sighs> These bowls are amazing. They are. So it's massive. We couldn't tell on their on his website. And then it said the dimensions, uh, um, but it was still, it's hard to picture, right? But well, yeah. we weren't sure how thick the bowls were, so we yeah. weren't sure if it was the inside or outside yeah. dimensions. It's great. This one has little, it's got a, um, a, a sheep knitting on that side and a sheep with a bowl there. And then... And a cute little cutout with the heart there. Yeah, all his so, cut and these are so um, burned on. light. And check out the bottom. Isn't that a cool bottom? Yeah. And this, it has a, a wolf with I love paw prints. It. I really love this one. Yeah. I actually thought I was gonna like this one better, but then we got this and I was like, oh, this is pretty. Yeah. Well, we have a lot of smaller yarn bowls, so yeah, it, it so was cool to choose some of his bigger ones. Yeah. So, so definitely, diesel works. if you're into wood, um, wood stuff, check yeah. out his website. He does mm -hmm. great work. I, I really wish he could have come down so we could have seen more stuff. Yeah. But, um, and he does some other stuff too. What am I missing? Then maybe we did get crochet hooks, buttons, tons of yarn bowls. Yeah, tons of yarn bowls. Um, They're great. There were all wooden crochet hooks, which yep. we didn't order. He said he's just starting that. So. Yeah. Um, uh, there was some other buttons. stuff. I think. Yeah. So, but we're really excited about those. So. We didn't wrap it up properly because there's an extra piece of tissue yes. paper left. Well, there's and bubble wrap over here. <laughs> I don't, I mean, it's safe now. It's not going in the mail again. Ah, fair enough. Okay, and last one that's for the store. We haven't even peeked in this one yet. I did yeah. open it, but it's from, oh, we are okay. I'll pull things out. <laughs> it's from Utopia. Yes. Um, oh, here's a, there's her cute little sheep. Yeah. Got a little card. Oh, she wrote. Oh, I, I'm going to be a bad host and read the card. No. So, um, she's Utopia Fiber Arts and her name is Judith. And she's been really great to deal with too. Yeah, I'm trying to think of where she is. Does it say? It, no, she's in Alberta or BC. Well, yeah. Okay, I can't uh, remember. Western Canada. Yeah. Uh, we'll put the details in the notes. So, but, oh, okay. some of the things she does. So you have to check out her website too. I think she puts lots on her Instagram and Facebook yeah, as well. And her on Facebook, she has um, a storefront set up, like where where you can purchase oh. on Facebook. And she has an Etsy shop as well. And so she does art bats. So look at this. And her art bat, like her prices for her art bats are amazing. Yeah. Um, this has Firestar, Superwash Merino, Angelina Fiber, Sari, Sari Silk, and M Silk? Mulberry, Mulberry Silk. Mulberry Silk. In that one. Yeah. 
And we got a few art bats because there's no one else we get art bats from. Yeah. Oh. So same of this, some of the same kind of that stuff. This over. is amazing. That one might come <laughs> with me. Oh, it's got some Corydale in it. Yeah. Trilobal? Trilobal nylon. Oh, okay. It's it's a different sparkly. <gasps> Ooh, this one's got those little um. It's kind of. It's, nappy. <laughs> it's nappy silk. Nappy. Oh, okay. Mm. It's um. Yeah, it yeah. makes like a tweedy look when you start. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay. Oh, 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 this one's got like. Yeah, I added another one after we had talked about it. It's got like, wool naps. That's the word I was looking yeah. for. Uh, in that. And like, so the inside really of that one you can't see, inside, but it's all green it, and blue. Yeah, it has like this turquoise color that you can just barely see through the white. Yeah. <sighs> I have never spun from an art bat before. I'm usually a control freak, so I don't love um, <laughs> texture, uh, but I have made a couple of art yarns and I have really liked how they turned out. So yeah. once I, I get, don't pack that one. <laughs> okay. And then once I get past the idea that I can't control it completely, I can enjoy the end result a great deal. And then what we, try to do is get some um, kid mohair with yarns that go with it. So we've got some that just go together. We've got just some kid I mohair love, and silk. Love, love this color. Uh huh. Yeah, me too. Like, yeah. Um, yeah. And these are, um, it's lace weight um, kid mohair silk. So you can um, hold so it they're with 50 it. grams and you can hold it with something and a skein will do like a skein of fingering weight that's 100 grams a skein of this will totally work with it because it's 420 yards yeah. and then we got some that just like the colors went together so if people wanted to do Ooh. that was actually like this oh i thought that this was one of the sets oh this was the one that kind of went two yeah. different ways right yeah. yeah isn't that cool and then together. Oh, oh, this stuff is. It'd be an awesome shawl. How do you say that? Wakaya. Wakaya alpaca and merino and a bit of nylon. And it's, oh yeah, it's like a DK weight. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no, it says worsted. Oh, of course, because alpaca is is thicker, than, well, not thicker, um, light. Oh, yes. Yes, so these are all worsted, so they could go together. Yeah. And we got some of her BFL nylon to try it out. So we got yeah. a little of everything, and we just thought oh, this was. And there's so much another fun. bag. There's another one. Mm. So yeah, we just thought it'd be fun to share yeah. the unboxing with you. I love that you. color. I like this color. <laughs> I'm all about the brights. Look at the. I won't sing to you. I promise. Look at those three mm. together. Mm. Mm. And then. This is These a massive ones. ball. This is the DK weight. Um, oh, it's the DK weight mohair. So oh, okay. So you can not... hold it like with a fingering and get like a, a worsted weight, cool. Aaron weight project. We're good. We're, yeah. Look at those. Oh. And like some Look at all those speckles. speckles. They're beautiful. Or like so. Yeah. So we will have. Her stuff here. I mean, truthfully, if you're from around here and you see something you love, um, give us a call or email or <laughs> so many of message. these go well together. Um, but otherwise, if you're not from here, check out their shops because these are all amazing. <laughs> Though we did, I did, we didn't really clear her up, but we took a lot of her stuff. I know. Yeah, but so. she's continuing to do some, um, yeah. like because she sells online. Um, yeah. So. We just wanted to encourage people to check them out because losing a show is a big deal. If you're a small business, mm -hmm. losing all your shows for a season, which yeah. is the case for a lot of people right now, is a scary, scary, scary yeah. thing. And we're in a position where we can help the shires, so... Yeah, they're small orders, but we wanted to get people hooked on their stuff so that next year they're... Yes. Ready to shop for the fine <laughs> fest when these dyers come ready back. To shop like crazy. <laughs> okay, let me. Sorry, I'm just gonna get these out of the way so that we can show you the rest of the stuff. I, you're gonna, you're gonna spin that, hey? Yeah, I'm totally gonna buy. So this you're just gonna me. do like a little tiny, like it's a 40 gram skein. Yeah, yeah, you're just gonna 
Yeah, I'll, 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 make gonna, a, like, I'll make a mini. I, you're not going to stripe it or I'll ply it or with something. It. That's the word I was looking for. Where's the other bag? It's probably under all this tissue paper. No, it's not. It's okay, right that's all right. I will. Oh, there right it is. There. Okay. Since I'm taking this one home for me, I want to show it to you without the bag. Because you really can't see the shine on that blue oh. through the bag. Art bats are so interesting. That's just amazing. You've got to spin from it just so I can see how it spins up. And then, yeah, that's what it looks like opened up. Oh. Oh. And she says she just has so much fun making them. I'm she doesn't, so she excited. Doesn't, and, she does good prices because she doesn't do a whole bunch of a markup because she just has so much fun doing them. Yeah, um, I've never seen prices like this on bats. On, like, on smooth bats maybe, but not on art bats or blended bats. Because they were like, oh, I don't it know, worked. I remember. It was like $28 she sells per them, 100 grams. No, I think she sells them for that's what it said. 32 I thought. Oh, I, okay. One of the two. But she but does like for 100 30 or gram 50. art yeah. bat. $32. So if it's like 50 grams, she just charges half of that. And like, yeah. Okay. Beautiful. So we got more mail. It was a good mail date. We got there with oh, two parcel that's notices. That's our stamps. You don't need to see those. We got to the post office with two parcel notices and she was like, oh, I have way more for you. <laughs> <gasps> this one's exciting. Uh, I won't, I won't okay. open it because it doesn't look exciting, but this is maple butter from home because because my daddy loves me. Yes. <laughs> okay. Maple butter is amazing. If you ever have a chance to get some, you have got Her to. dad like travels how far is it? Like three hours? Yeah, just about three hours. Two and a half hours, three and, hours. And buys like 50 containers of maple butter because he is he's the pusher for Nancy. <laughs> he he gets you hooked on it and then go and then each year takes your order and goes and buys you. He doesn't charge extra so yeah you know, no he just delivers he's a good it pusher, for free but okay so this one we got two parcels from crux fiber Ooh. um so, so we uh we didn't get a wholesale order from her but we wanted we both wanted to get a few things for ourselves yes so so you've got to you see her okay and she ships hers like we do a vacuum pack well okay we do some of our stuff like this uh, basically, if you're shipping a skein of yarn <laughs> to Canada uh, or something within flat Canada. within Canada, it is a, like a tiny fraction of the cost to send it this well, way rather than... This costs $3, but if you sent it as a parcel, not flattened, it would cost at least $12 within um, the same province. And up and to like up 18. To 20. 20. Oh, Canada. yeah, if it's rural and across the country. Yeah. And then you open this up. Oh, yeah, these are great scissors. Okay. We love yarn pancakes. Yarn pancakes. Pancake. Oh, okay. So this I had to get. I saw this. So Camp, Camp Yukon was um, another maker up in. So she's in the Yukon. She's in Whitehorse. Crux Fibers is. And Camp Yukon, I'm pretty sure, is in Whitehorse as well, or close by. And um, Brittany was going to bring down some of her stuff for the Fiber Fest. And then, you know, blah, blah, blah. So, and then she wasn't. So, so she put to. up some of her stuff on her website. And now Camp Yukon has, has uh, put up her own. I think she has an Etsy shop. I follow them both, so I get <laughs> mixed get up. Get them mixed up sometimes. Yeah. Um, but look, it's a sock monkey bag! With red buffalo plaid inside. It's I awesome. could not resist. We it's actually little... both wanted to buy this I, one. Mine. I have I have an addiction. Yes. I mean really, but it's good. Like I don't need to buy more yarn. No. And it does really keep don't... your it does keep your projects um but it's, tidy. It's so you do have I a thing it. for sock monkey. I do. I love sock monkeys. Um, I I love this. Like that it has a handle that you can walk with. Yeah. And super sturdy, sturdy zippers, zippers that aren't going to catch on anything. Uh, yeah, I just <laughs> you've got I've got pink Angelina. <laughs> oh, I've got fuzz all over. That's why I shouldn't wear black, but I'm so excited about and this. And then Ooh. Cindy Ooh. got one of these. That one is Let me just retwist it for you. Autumn Sunset and I got the worsted weight. 
which is, it's just 100% uh, Superwash Merino. It's really and, nice. Oh, oh it's oh, really nice. The feel of it is just amazing. Oh, pardon the quick skein job. It's not as pretty as it would have been, but um, it's I'm really so excited. soft. I'm thinking a hat. And then we each got a Northern Lights kit um, to make her... Her... Who's the designer? Oh, okay. You keep talking. Shoot. I'm not sure. Um, you keep talking, I said. She, yeah, I'm not good at that once I'm trying to think of a name. Okay, you, you want to look it up? <laughs> no, it's okay. okay. You're faster at that. Um, so she has these kits that she dyes for a hat and mitten set. And we both had been talking about wanting to knit this. So, And we had both said we wanted to buy a set um, when we got to the Fiber Fest. So we each got one. Uh, so I'm not sure if I'll do the hat or the mitts. I didn't okay. get the pom-pom. Oh, Liz Sutton is the designer. Oh, they work it. together. Uh, I don't know if you can see this, but there's a hat and the mitts. And they are just amazing. I'm actually going to do color work, guys. And then these are um, kind of northern oh. light bright greens with a little bit of speckles oh, in I the darker colors. It's just amazing. Mm. It's amazing. So I love these together. Look at that. So it's oh 60 grams of the black and 50 grams of the green. Yeah. I'm just I'm so excited. Yeah. Oh, yeah. These are really nice bases. Yeah, I know. I love her base. This is the same base. Um, but oh yeah. Love, love, love. So we're each gonna do that. I haven't decided yet. I'll probably do the hat. I don't know. My nice messy skein, but yeah, <laughs> I'm I'm leaning towards the hat for myself. Are you? Yeah, but it might be the mints. I was I don't like, know. I tend to, I tend to wear hand knit hats more often. Yes, I know. I'm scared of using hand knit mitts because I think I'm gonna get because I get my mitts filthy. But the, uh, they wash. I know the ones you wear are knit mittens. I know. Anyway. And I've worn them out all over. And anyway, so and you should yes. totally check out both so, of their Etsy shops. Um, Brittany this is also ugh, posts Rux on fibers. Instagram quite often. You may have seen the bread that looks so amazing. You feel like you can smell it oh, on her yeah. Instagram lately. She did purple bread today. Yeah. Cool. Look at that. But yeah. Oh. Um, so it's an Etsy shop, Crux Fibers. And we'll, we'll put the links in the doobly-doo. Yeah. So we're really, I was really excited. About Very this. excited. Okay. Well, and I've been wanting to make that set since I first saw it. I know. It. Me too. I love those bright greens. Okay, guys, we mentioned this last time. We did Allison Barnes Party in a Mailbox. So and we're sharing this. We shared it. So basically our thought is each week. Oh, but we have to decide before you open it no, and no, then no, fight no. over it. No, we have to. What do you mean decide before we open We have it? to guess who's going to take it and then to fight over <sighs> no, it. No, I, I said we don't have to get. We have to fight over it once we open it. Okay. Oh, okay. So <laughs> we're going to look at it and each week we're going to decide which of us is more worthy of it. <laughs> I think since it was her idea to get this that she should get the first one. It'll be more whose color it is and stuff. And then each week we'll bring the previous weeks in unless we've already started something with it. And we can maybe trade for one if we uh, like it better or something. Okay, so you ready? Yeah. Woo! Ooh. Ooh, platonic, platonic love. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> oh, I gotta open this. I dropped the thingy. Okay. It says, happy mail, Allison. We love Allison Barnes. Um, she was a vendor last year. And she was supposed to be a vendor this year. And she'll be a vendor next year. Yeah. But we're very excited about this. And Allison was one of the people we reached out to when we sort of were thinking of doing this. We reached out to a couple of people um, who had done Fiberfest before and said, okay, help. are we crazy? <laughs> Is this, would this Will work? Will this work? Would, yeah. Would this, oh, that's actually really nice. Look, it's got like oh. hot pink speckles in it and brown speckles and kind of that variations of beautiful i'm not usually one for orange. and oranges yeah i don't think yellow would have done it for me but this orange this is really nice is nice okay so i think who does it look better on who can wear orange i could totally wear orange could you wear orange i think we could both wear it equally hmm we'll just so... have to make something that fits us both <laughs> no uh, okay well 
I do really like it. Okay, see, whoever gets it this week has less of a chance on next week's. Yeah. And who knows when that'll be? She has or what such that nice be. yarns. What's the base on this one? We did the worsted. Oh, right. The classic yeah, worsted. Classic worsted. Um, so she I had have it. more of it and I love it. She had the the subscription you could do in fingering, DK, or worsted. Mm -hmm. And we thought we have a lot of fingering, both of us, and that worsted would be... <laughs> yes, we could actually get through the worsted. Because we have been in the mood mm -hmm. for easy quick knits like hats and cowls. Yeah. Um, Okay. Ooh, a cowl. That'd be an amazing cowl. It would. So? I'm on it. Okay. Well, that was easy. I really love it. So you have to bring it back next week. Okay. And we might have to fight over it again. Okay. But I, it, uh, that is amazing. Plus, I love the name. Platonic yeah, Love. Platonic Love. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. It's so pretty. It is. So party in, in your mailboxes every week we get a skein. So... Yeah. Um, so check out her website. Um, she does post a lot of stuff on Instagram, but hers is Alison Barnes Yarn, uh, Collection. Alison no, Barnes. that's on Facebook. Alison, Alison Barnes, Barnes Yarns Yarn. on Yarn on Instagram. It doesn't say her actual website, but it's just Google it. It's Alison Barnes. We'll put it in oh, the. That's not the did right we one. do? I'm pretty sure it's yeah, AlisonBarnes.com. Yeah, she's from Edmonton too. She is, and she's awesome. Mm -hmm. She had, she was um, the booth next to ours at the Fiber Fest last year. <laughs> so uh, while I was running around making sure everybody was okay, Cindy got to wave across the hall and, and check out all the yarns well, she had so that when because, she had five minutes to get away from the booth, she went, okay, I want this, I want this, this, this. <laughs> and I, I, I've knit for half of it or more than half of it, but yeah. um, I was standing, like I was helping people, like ringing them through the till but my till was like directly facing, facing Alison Barnes booth. And I was just like, yeah. oh, every time I looked up, I was just like, Ooh. and her and parents I, came yes. and they were so sweet. They were yeah. really fun. Um, yeah. So the only other mail, I got one more mail and you, well, you've already talked about your, my maple butter, your maple butter. I can't open my, <laughs> you I don't me. know if any of you have ever heard of this before. <laughs> Alison actually says happy mail on yes. the back of the, <laughs> So I get Uppercase, which is an art magazine. It's so cool. Like, I'm not even, I wouldn't consider myself an artist at all. But, but it's a cool magazine. It's a like, really cool magazine. There's everything in it. Um, it. There is no ads at all. So it's a it's a pricey magazine. Yeah. I can't remember. Um, but it is, it is so cool. It's got stories about artists. It's got, like, well, just everything. And, like, each one is a different theme. Yeah. So, um, oh, is there a subscription card? Yes, and even their subscription cards are awesome. They have patterns on the back. Like, they're just beautiful. So, she always, the the designer, um, I cannot remember her name. She's from Calgary, who makes the magazine. But every magazine has a different spine. pattern on the spine and usually front and back a bit. And it matches whatever is and on the... And then she's done batches of um fabric yeah with a bunch of her her designs yeah they're amazing and she does these um these really cool encyclopedia of inspiration books so i think she's got five out so far and the next are six the next two coming out are ceramics and yarn thread and string so right now it they're she's just um it's, it's not kickstarter it, it indiegogo one of those you know, getting money, but it's crowdfunding. Crowdfunding, thank you. She is crowdfunding them. See, I just I've lost she my has words. No brain. Well, I don't talk to anyone but you anymore. Yeah. And my mom, my mom calls because we mm. have closed our doors. <laughs> it's kind of a lonely thing. We answer but, emails, so writing yeah. still lots, but yeah. But yeah, so and she like, is crowdfunding for these, and these are huge. Uh, like encyclopedia, uh, they're just so cool. And the magazines are really cool. Like each one has a theme. Like I remember there was one on lettering. And yes. So there was the whole magazine like, was. There were articles about calligraphy, about mm. sign making, about font design. There was one like, about anything the... that has to do with that theme is all in. And well, there, there was, was one that was hand lettering and one that was um, print making. Print making. So that one actually had like about like old 
um, printing machines yeah. and and, right and up the, to like new things like bio inks from yeah, squid like, gel from diesel exhaust. There was one that was like there's this filter you put on the end of your um, 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 exhaust pipe exhaust pipe on your car and it collects something and that 12, they make the ink out of. Twelve hours oh, collected enough for like a cartridge a, a cartridge of ink. It was just. It's it's really fascinating. Yeah. I I really like these. Oh, here here's the spines of her previous encyclopedias. Like <laughs> even the books themselves look cool. Yeah. Anyway, um someone one of our um customers nice. brought it us in a bunch of her old ones and I got totally hooked and then got a subscription. Yeah. And um she also does great things like for schools or or anything that could really use them she does free subscriptions and oh cool she, she does really awesome things so yeah they're uppercase. a really neat magazine it's fabulous i love it so i know what i'm doing tonight <laughs> but yeah she's gonna disappear for a few days yeah I just, I, like that this is a substantial like it's a thick magazine well yeah it's and there's not a single ad it's so. 114 pages not a single ad i mean lots of huge pictures of art but um it's so cool yeah and yeah and just it's great for if you are an artist for um inspiring you and stuff and and like dyers would probably love some of the the art for like just ideas and I highly recommend it. Yeah, they're very cool. Mm -hmm. So what is the theme on this one? Because uh, she always has a theme. I don't know. Anyway, totally worth checking oh, out. Oh, watercolors. Oh, uh, that makes sense because some of those, those paintings were all, were watercolors. all watercolors. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. These are all the spines of the magazines. Can you? Do you can't really make out the... Oh, it's yeah. really cool. Anyway. Um, yeah. Okay, sorry. Oh. I'll stop looking. And, and I just noticed and we plant a... a tree with every subscription. Oh, yes, she does. Yep, she plants a tree for every subscription. They're very cool. Mm -hmm. And a lot of it's Canadian. I mean, not all of it, but that it's kind of cool. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay, so yeah, yarn and fun stuff. We are having a happy mail day today. Yeah, a very happy mail day. And, and now look, oh, it's such a happy color. It is. Uh, truthfully, this green is just like, oh, yeah. Oh, and I love this one. I'm so glad I picked this one. I had a really hard time picking because I was like, I'll get the Borealis kit and then one color. And I was like, oh, I can't pick. Look at They're the, all so the pretty. oranges in here actually look really close to this. Oh, so pretty. They'd be really cool together. <sighs> oh, yeah, you're right, actually. Yeah. Or like this would look great, like in a cowl or something. With a, with, with a, dark, with a yeah. dark color. Yeah. Mm. Oh. oh, anyway, so now we have to, you know, knit up some of this yarn. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, the only way I seem to knit anything lately is to design something to to knit. So maybe I'll just think of a design. Well, but we've already got a pattern for this. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I meant for this. Oh, for that. Yeah. I know we kept, <sighs> there's so many of our yarns that I'm just like, I want to design something for that. And then I'm like, I, I'm not going to design. I like it. Well, that was the Memphrey socks. I saw that color, mm -hmm. the, the dark stripey yarn. And I was like, I need to take that home. And I couldn't justify taking home more sock yarn unless there was a reason for it. So, <laughs> so I had to design something for that yarn so that I could justify taking it home. And um, that pattern's up. I'm sure you yes. probably saw. And you can either get it free with a code or if you want to pay for it, a half the... Half uh, the proceeds are going to True North Aid, um, which supports... Um, indigenous communities. Indigenous communities in the north. Um, so they do like water, um, clean water, food security. They do education programs. Oh, so they do... Um, stuff to uh, suicide helplines. Yeah, just tons of. And right very now they're doing a lot of help. Yeah, and for, right now they've got a emergency, emer emergency COVID emergency uh, yeah. things going on. So that's fabulous. Yeah, because a lot of smaller communities. Yeah, well, it's hard to <sighs> you know if you're under a boil water advisory, for example, and you don't have clean water. Yeah. How do you sanitize everything? Yeah. Right. Like. Yeah. It's crazy. But. So. Um, yeah, anyway, 
we're very happy with our stuff very very excited okay i um, think that's so it we'll so be back next week for at least the next um fight over allison barn yarn <laughs> uh, allison barnes yarn um i don't know maybe we'll talk about whatever we've done oh i actually started a hat that i could talk about next week me too I've and i'm still working a cast on, my... on and a row <laughs> i've got like this much done I... I haven't been knit much yeah and sleeping a lot yeah but we talked about that last time yeah anyway i hope you're having a good week uh it, I don't think it's as good as our day is today. Um, <laughs> that was a pretty amazing We haul. hope you're having a great day and yeah. staying safe. And we'll see you again soon. Oh, and we had mentioned the possibility of a virtual knit night. And we are going to go ahead with that. Um, I'm going to see if we can get uh, some of our locals involved too. So I just want to check on timing because one is calving and kidding right now. And I want to make sure... Yes. That at least some of our locals can, can make it. Baby goats are so cute. Baby check miniature out, goats. Yes, check out Happy Hoof. Is it Happy Hoof Acres? Yeah, Happy oh, Hoof Acres. Acres on Instagram. Yeah, that's Rebecca and her girls and their and their goats. Her full size goats are twelve inches high. Like oh, her buck so is cute. twelve inches high. Yeah. Um. So the babies are just adorable. Yeah. But anyway, um. Yeah. If you're interested in um uh virtual knit night uh comment below and i'll send you a link <laughs> okay no bring it next week okay you might find something you like more so when rebecca said hers was orange this week i was like oh, oh. orange and yet that is amazing color yeah i'm not Maybe usually an orange can get the orange I know. one I'm, and i, was I kind of really like somebody. this i'm not usually an orange fan at all yeah. And, and this, this is, is very amazing. Cheery. It is. I think, and cheery is a good thing right now. Yeah. Yeah. So. Look, I made little tiny <laughs> skeins. They, they're like Rebecca's baby goats. <laughs> uh, anyway, anyway, have a good day. Bye-bye. See you next time.